Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy a free grid trading bot from Gate.io and it is their unlimited automated grid trading bot and perhaps the main feature to this bot is the unlimited feature which allows the bot to follow the price action up as high as it can go without any upper limit. Now, with that being said, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates, the idea is to buy low and sell high. And a grid bot is made up of open limit sell and open limit buy orders, which essentially make up the grid and are represented in this case by the green and red lines that you see running through the chart. The red lines are your open limit sell orders and the green lines would be your open limit buy orders. So when the price dips down and hits these open limit buy orders, the bot executes those buy orders and continues to buy as long as the price Price is going down as soon as the price reverses and starts to go back up and hits these red lines the bot will then execute the limit sell orders and thus capture profit from buying low and then selling high and what you're typically looking for when you deploy a grid bot is choppy price action like you see represented on the chart in front of us and at the end of the day you're really just looking for the price to dip down and recover back up towards the top side and perhaps trade within a range like you see marked out by the white lines on the chart that I dropped in this price action was actually trading in between this range and generating a lot of profit as it was dipping and ripping it was buying low and selling high and with that all being said the benefit of gate io's unlimited grid bot is if the price actually breaks out towards the top side and breaks out of this zone the bot will follow that price action without any upper level limits so that's enough jaw jacking let's get to configuring this bot but I guess before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Gate.io, we can jump over here to CoinGecko and take a look at the exchanges. And you can see Gate.io is ranked as a top 10 exchange. In reality, they probably have the most coins and pairs available out of all the top 10 exchanges. And occasionally you might find a hidden gem listed over here on Gate.io. Now, before you go sending your money off to Gate.io, you need to do your own recon on this platform. And as I always say, never send more money to any exchange, whether it be Binance, Qcoin, Coinbase, Gate.io. Never send more money than you're willing to actually lose because at the end of the day, these are all custodial accounts and thus they hold your keys to your wallet and you don't actually have possession of your crypto. They do. So do your recon before you ever send any money off to any one of these exchanges. Now let's get this bot set up and deployed. So the first thing I need to do is sign into my Gate.io account. From my dashboard, I come over to Copy Trading, which is a terrible name. I wish this was just like automated trading or something other than copy trading. I never recommend you copy someone else's strategy. You should do your own recon, have your own battle plan and your own strategy. But nonetheless, I just give copy trading a click. From this dashboard, I come over here to the menu and under create a new strategy, I click on strategy templates. And you will see they have a variety of different templates already pre-made. Today, we will be focusing on the unlimited grid. Now, it is a spot grid trading bot, and it basically has no upper limit, as I mentioned before. So now, all I need to do is click on Create Strategy. And now the first thing I need to decide is what pair do I actually want to trade? And I could certainly go the easy route with BTC USDT. However, if I click on the drop down, I can search through a list of different pairs to trade, or I can type in a pair I want to trade. And today I will be trading Matic USDT. So I give that a click. Now you might be wondering, how did I come up with Matic USDT? Well, I did my recon. And if we jump over here to trading view, I'll give you a quick glimpse at the recon that I actually did on Matic. Now, one of the things I was looking for is a price action that was trading between a range. And in this case, we can see that Matic is actually chopping along a range. 
and that range is currently falling between 150 to 245. Now, if we look back a little further on the chart, we can see that same range kind of trade all the way down to around a dollar to maybe even 70 cents and bounce along. So we do have a pretty good range here. But the other factor I am interested in is the volatility. And the way I measure volatility is with what an indicator I created specifically for this. And that is my ATR volatility measured as a percentage indicator, which you see represented down here towards the bottom of the chart in a columns of green, yellow, blue, and red. Now, green is high volatility. Yellow is still fairly high to moderate volatility. Blue would be moderate volatility to lower. And then obviously red is very low volatility. And if you look at Maddox volatility based on this indicator over the last eight months or so, there's a lot of green and yellow and even some higher blues. And to me, that shows volatility. Now, how this relates on the chart, you'll see bigger candles rather than smaller candles. When these candles get pretty small, like back in this area, you see very little volatility and we get the red columns on my indicator. However, where the price is whipping around on a daily basis, this is the one day chart. These candles represent how much the price moved in a day and these big whips up and down do represent high volatility and the indicator represents that with these bigger green columns. Now it is important to note that volatility does not measure trend direction. So you can have high volatility with the prices falling and you can have high volatility obviously when the price is rising. It does not determine trend. So with that all being said, a grid bot does tend to perform best when the price action is trending upwards and I dropped in a white line that's kind of going diagonally upwards through this chart and you can see I'm using that to measure the trend of Matic and up until just recently it was actually trending upwards pretty much since the end of July it was trending upwards until we just recently broke down with pretty much the rest of the crypto market. However, it is now bouncing and today's candle is looking to close above this trend line. This price action of volatility, somewhat chopping between some zones and slightly trending up would make Matic a good target for a grid bot. Now, before we move on, one last thing I do look at is where is the price action in this zone that it's chopping? And I typically want it towards the middle or towards the bottom. And in this case, if we're going from 150 to 245, we'd be towards the bottom. If we're going all the way back to say the $1 to the 245 range, we're pretty much in the middle. So again, this still looks like a go. Now let's jump back over to Gate.io and get this bot deployed. So I chose Matic USDT. Next, I need to set the lower limit price. There won't be any setting for an upper limit price because this is their unlimited grid bot. So it will continue to follow the price up and there will be no limit on how high this bot can follow the price action up but it does have a lower limit. And again, if I jump back over here to the chart, I typically put my lower limit somewhere near prior support. And in this case, Matic is a coin I'm willing to hold long term. So I'm going to drop that pretty low. Now I could put it at 150 if I was just looking to shoot and loot and get out. And I didn't want this turning south on me. Or I could go as low as $1 where that has been previous support as well. Because this is a long-term hold for me and my strategy and my risk management or risk tolerance, I'm going to put it actually down below this lower level here, which was around 62 cents. And I never put it right at the support. I put it slightly below. So that's going to put us at around 59 cents. That will be my lower limit for this particular grid bot. Now I need to determine the rate of return per grid. I typically have my best success with grid bots somewhere at about 0.7% to 0.9%. So for this particular bot, I will go with the 0.70% for the actual grid step. Now that I have that determined, I can come down to the amount of ammo I need to give this bot. And you can see just below the entry, it tells me the minimum I need to give this bot. And the minimum would be $324. Now, if I raise my rate of return per grid and make it 0.9, 
you could see I could get away with, say, a $244 investment versus the 324 So the higher you go with your rate of return, the less you will have to invest in this particular grid bot. But for now, I am going to stick with the 0.70% for this particular grid bot. And then the amount of ammo I'm going to give this bot will be 500 USDT. And then an option that I have is to actually have a trigger price when I want this bot to start. So with the bot price currently at say 171, I could have this bot start at a lower or higher price, but I have already done all my recon. So I am actually comfortable deploying this bot at the current list price. Now, the last option that I have is termination conditions and I can terminate this bot if the price falls below my lower limit and what that will do if it falls below my lower limit it will terminate the bot but it will hold the asset which for me would actually work because I'm willing to hold Matic long term or I could place a stop loss and if the stop loss hits which again the price would have to go below my lower limit it would actually stop the bot and liquidate my position. Now the third option obviously is I could just let this bot run and wait for the price to come back into the trading zone. And that is precisely what I will do today for this particular grid bot. Now keep in mind my risk tolerance is more than likely very different than your risk tolerance and I'm willing to let this investment go to zero with Matic. However, I highly doubt that's going to happen, but I'm willing to let that happen. I'm not investing more than I'm actually willing to lose on this particular grid bot. If you cannot stomach a large drawdown, you probably want to set a stop loss. And typically I would tell you deploying a grid bot without a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually you will get killed. But today I'm trading a coin I'm willing to hold on to long term. And long term to me is multiple years, not days or weeks or months. It's multiple years. And I do have a level of confidence in Matic in the next few years that its price will be higher than $1.71. So the last thing I need to do is click on create and I get a note that the bot needs to buy about 140 Matic to bootstrap the grid strategy. And what that basically means is I need to hold some Matic when I deploy this bot because if the price does nothing but go straight up from the moment I deploy the bot, it needs some Matic to fill those open limit sell orders on the way up. So I click OK. Now I just need to put in my trading password and success the bot has been deployed and I can find this particular bot over here on the menu under active strategies give that a click and it's not actually under the spot grid trading that's a different bot it's actually under the all tab so if I give that a click you can see the one and only strategy I currently have deployed over here on gate IO and so if I give that a click and you can see the parameters I use to set up this particular bot. In addition to, I can see the actual summary of the performance of the bot, whether it be the realized profit, my total return, or the unrealized profit and loss. Obviously, these are all zeros right now because the bot was just deployed. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will be doing an update video in the near future on how this bot is performing. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Gate.io in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.